Well, happy Halloween. I hope you're having a good one. We want to show you some of the pictures and images trick-or-treating just wrapping up in communities in and around Jacksonville. We joined some families as they celebrated. Some trick-or-treaters had a lot of fun at the fourth annual Treats No Tricks event. This was at the Gateway Shopping Center. You can see there was free face painting. Many of the businesses gave out lots of this good candy. And we saw plenty of princesses and superheroes in the crowd, even some... Uh, Oh, what a good-looking guy. A four-legged friend got into the spirit wearing some cute little costumes. And then we also went door-to-door -door in San Jose in Green Bay Lane where kids were getting pretty excited about the candy they got there. We talked to one woman who was trick-or-treating with her grandkids. Um, just the family time is wonderful. And to see our grandson's eyes light up when he sees his superhero family. I think you stay in smaller neighborhoods. Maybe you don't go as far. So go where you know your neighbors. Always good advice. Plenty of people out in Grove Park, and that's a neighborhood off Beach Boulevard on the south side. There were many great costumes out there, like a little guy who was dressed up as, well, oh, where'd he go? Oh, he was, you know, he was dressed up as an elephant. But many people we talked to said it's a very popular street every Halloween, and we talked to one woman who was giving out candy at her house. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful to see all the kids having so much fun, and the parents even take part and dress up, too. I think it's wonderful. Say it loud. Oh my gosh, is she adorable? Oh my gosh. And then, okay, the staff at Wolfson Children's Hospital, they're also spreading some joy. Take a look at what they were doing, all dressed up as Toy Story. Very well done. And then, of course, the kids got in on the act. Look at this guy. This is eight year old Zane, dressed as, you bet, a shark. Dude, dude. It's kind of scary. You can find this story on the homepage of newsforjacks.com. Happy Halloween.